Hello and welcome back to Knitting School. Um, this is the second uh, recording of the series. The first one um, we were looking at setting up the machine, uh, clamping it to the table, uh, casting on and doing um, a little bit of knitting, a little bit of stockinette. Um, in this session um, we're going to actually be doing um, some different processes, so using the hand uh, tools that we have here that should come with your machine. We have three tools here, okay, various amounts of uh, prongs. Okay, so we've got one, two and three prongs in there. So we're going to be looking at using the one prong transfer tool for now. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on that and I'm going to show you a few decorative stitches that you can do. Really simple, uh, that you can incorporate into, you know, a little scarf, uh, stole idea, um, something you can knit you know, sort of now, wear it tonight kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to have a little um, play around a few decorative things and uh, see how we go. I'll show you some ladders, eyelets, um, and then playing around with the tension as well. Okay, so just to get some uh, simple uh, ideas going, getting you used to using uh, the transfer tools and uh, also using uh, the machine tension dial as well, and getting used to stitch sizes and that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get started. So um, we'll come back in a moment and uh, we'll be on the machine. We're back on the Knitmaster uh, 360. Uh, this is the one that we set up uh, last time, uh, the last video. Okay, uh, it's a really good basic machine, uh, but it has a lot of scope for beginners. So a good sort of entry level uh, machine. Okay, so we're going to be looking at that today and uh, yeah, we'll join you in a moment. Okay, so um, we've got um, some knitting on the machine and uh, we've just done a little cast on and I've just knitted about 10 rows or so. Um, I've hung my weights on, okay, and I'm just ready to start using the one prong transfer tool. Okay, so in your toolkit you should have, let's say, three of these of varying um, amounts of prongs sticking out of them. We're just going to grab one uh, with the uh, one prong transfer tool. There. Okay, so we're going to be using that one for now. I'm going to um, start with um, an eyelet. Okay, so this is um, one of the basic techniques which I teach um, on my one-to-one -one private lessons. Um, so I'm just going to uh, do a little demo uh, of what we do when we first start knitting. Okay, so I usually start with um, some very very simple techniques. Okay, and this is being this being one of them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, and it doesn't really matter where you do this at all, but we're just going to take one stitch uh, from a needle here. So I'm just putting my transfer tool, so the, 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 the tool has a little sort of eyelet hole in the centre of it there, just holding it up there. Okay, so what you need to do is locate on the hook of the needle just going to pull this out. So the hook of the needle here, just sort of touching it with my transfer tool here, the hook of the needle, the transfer tool, the eyelet of the transfer tool needs to hook onto the hook of the, the needle. Okay, so I'm just, whoops, just hooking that on there. Okay, and I can pull that needle backwards and forwards now. Okay, so what I need to do, we've only partially pulled that needle forward, so I'm going to pull it forward a little bit more until the stitch goes past the latch of the needle. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it out Okay, and just demonstrate the latch there. So there's the latch that I'm moving up and down Okay, with my finger, just do it with the other hand actually. So we've got the needle forward there, the latch is free. Okay, so I'm just flicking it backwards and forwards there and um, the stitch is actually back here. Okay, so I've not done anything with that stitch yet. Okay. So we're going to pop that transfer tool onto that extended needle, okay, say the stitch has gone past that latch, that's the important thing, okay, and now what I'm going to do is go back with the transfer tool, all the way back, pushing that needle back, so all on a sort of the same kind of plane if you like, push it back, the latch has now closed over the hook of the needle again, keep going, keep going, keep going, until eventually it pops onto the transfer tool, okay, and then you're safe to lift off the eyelet, or take the eyelet of the transfer tool away from the hook of the needle, and now the stitch should be on your transfer tool, the stem of the transfer tool there, okay. 
Now at this moment you can either go to the left with that stitch or you can come to the right with that stitch. Doesn't really matter at this moment, I guess if you're right-handed you might want to come to the right, if you're left-handed you might want to go to the left, but it doesn't really matter at this stage um, where which, which direction we're going in. So I'm going to come over to the right because we're over here at the right anyway and what we need to do is keep that stitch on um, the, the tool there and at the same time I'm locating the eyelet of the tool onto the next needle along. Okay, so I'm hooking that um, transfer tool onto the next needle along. I'm going to pull that forward very, very slightly. It doesn't need to come forward all the way this time. So very slightly. And I'm also going to tilt the tool upwards and in the direction that I've transferred in. So if you're going off to the right, I'm lifting it up and off to the right. Okay, and that just helps it. I'm just pulling out a little bit more. That just helps that stitch move onto the next needle along okay and there now uh, where that needle is uh, slightly forward there that needle there now has the two stitches on it here okay so as I say it doesn't need to come all the way forward this time so the two stitches need to be in uh, or, or before the latch closes okay so we've not gone basically past that latch this time like we did when we were doing the actual transfer okay so this time we've, we've got the bow stitches in the hook of the needle not on the stem of the needle okay so I'm just going to manually put that back with my um, finger and thumb on the needle but on that adjacent needle just pop it in line with the other needles and then what I like to do is have a little tidy up okay and bring that needle that hasn't got a stitch on now that's the one that we've taken off just make sure that that needle butt of that needle of that stitch that we've taken off the needle of that stitch that we've taken off just make sure that the needle butts are all in line at the back there okay and that ensures that when we come across with the carriage again that ensures that that's going to pick up and make a new stitch and the basically the top part of the eyelet if you like Okay, so once again then, uh, again, it doesn't really matter at this moment in time where I'm picking up that uh, stitch, but I'm just going to go here somewhere a bit more in the centre. So again, locating that eyelet onto the uh, needle, the hook of the needle, I'm pulling it forward, the latch goes back. Okay, still pulling it forward until you've gone past the latch there. So we've gone past the latch. Okay. And now we're ready to go back. So keep everything in a nice straight line, push it back. The needle will, uh, uh, latch will start to close on itself. There it goes, closing. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until that stitch lands up onto the transfer tool. Okay, once it's on the tool, you're fine. You can lift that uh, uh, transfer tool off the needle. And this time we'll go to the left. Okay. And I'm, I'm just taking that stitch off to the left of the next needle along, locating my uh, transfer tool eyelet there, and I'm pulling slightly. Now this time, because we've gone to the left, I'm pulling that needle slightly forward with the transfer tool there, and I'm lifting and going off to the left this time. Okay, and then it's located back onto the next needle along. Okay, have a little tidy up. So I've got my thumb and finger on the needle butts at the back here, making sure they're all in line again. Okay, so just once more then, bringing that um, third eyelet. So I'm just moved along the needle bed there, pulling that needle there. Again, it doesn't really matter where you do this. You can count it out if you want, but it, it really doesn't matter just for practice. So I've pulled that needle as far forward as it needs to come. That latch is free now. There's no stitch in the hook or anything. The stitch is here at the back there. Okay, so now I'm going to push everything back. The transfer tool pushing the needle back. The latch will close over the, the needle there. Keep going. The stitch will pop onto the transfer tool and when you're happy with that you can lift the transfer tool off the the hook of that needle okay and either go to the left or to the right here let's go to the left again okay locating the eyelet of the tool there onto that adjacent needle when you're happy with that then you can pull it forward a little bit and I'm, we've gone off to the left so I'm going to tilt and off to the left again okay and then 
take the tool away when you're happy that that stitch uh, is nicely and safely on uh, the adjacent needle. Have a little tidy up. Okay, so I'm bringing the needles back in line. All those needle butts are all in line again. Okay, so that we've got three um, eyelets there. Okay, so that's the first part done, the most nerve-wracking bit done. And then what I'm going to do is knit across those three eyelets that I've made. So just gently come across. And it might feel what I call a little bit notchy, a little bit bumpy. Okay, uh, so go nice and slowly for that first row across. Okay, and the reason why is it might feel a bit bumpy, a little bit notchy, is because some stitches um, I've moved over, so some needles have two stitches on them where I've, we've transferred them over. Okay, so that's asking the machine to do a little bit more work by knitting those off, those two stitches off. Okay, um, so what we should have are the loops now. Okay, so we've got three nice little loops there, so that's um, going to form the top of our eyelet, so I'll come across again. And there we have the finished eyelet there. Okay, so there's our three eyelets. I've just knitted a few more rows on top of those eyelets there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do a slightly larger eyelet, okay? And uh, this time it's, it's a little bit more involved, um, but once you get the hang of it, it, again, it can be quite a nice sort of decorative um, effect. So what we're going to do is um, go in and do an eyelet as before. Okay, this time I'm making um, a transfer over to the left. Okay, so I'm transferring that stitch over to the left hand side and then I'm coming to where I've transferred that stitch off to the left. The next needle along on the right, I'm going to also transfer that one and again, I'm going to go off to the right with this one. Okay, so transfer that over, tilting it over to the right again, because we're going to the right. Okay, so what we've got is one stitch transferred to the left and one stitch transferred to the right. So now we've got two empty needles here without a stitch on them. Okay, we're just going to leave them there for now. Um, and I'm going to just demonstrate that again. So I'm going to do another three across the knitting, so over to the left with the first one, transfer tilt to the left if we're going left, okay, and come to the next one to the right of it, okay, and transfer that over to the right this time. Okay, so once more, over to the left, transfer, over to the right, and transfer. Okay, now we do need to have a look at the, because we've got two needles coming forward now, uh, pulling two needles forward. Okay, so here's the two needles, because I've transferred one stitch over to the left, one stitch to the right on each of those three. Okay, so if we just brought those needles forward and expected them to, to knit, um, they would never form a proper stitch. Okay, we'd have a sort of a, a strange sort of ladder happening. So what we have to do is stagger those needles coming forward. So we leave one forward, it doesn't matter which one again at this stage, so we've got one forward in line with all the other needles and then I'm pushing one back out of action against the, the back of the needle bed there as far as it will go. Okay, so we're going to leave uh, one forward and the other empty one all the way back as far as it will go in non-working position for now. Okay, and again on this third one, leave one forward and push one back all the way to the needle bed, back of the needle bed there. Okay, so each one has one needle um, in the normal position to pick up the yarn to make that loop and then the second needle is all the way back as far as it will go in um, uh, the needle bed there. Okay, so we just do one row for now and we've picked up that stitch that's in line, so the needle butts are in line with the rest of the knitting, so that's picked up the stitch as we wanted, and then what we have to do is bring the other needle forward, the other empty needle forward that we had at the back there, I'm bringing all of those in line again with the other needles, and again come across gently, 
Okay, there we go, and it's picked up that second needle. Now, you may like that little sort of float hanging down there that the eyelets formed there. Okay, and you can use that to a decorative effect if you want to. If you don't want to have that there, what you can do at this stage is pick up that eyelet, uh, sorry, that ladder there, that little sort of um, a bit of yarn hanging down there. So get your transfer tool in, pick it up, lift it up, and place it onto that second needle that we brought into action. Okay, and I'm going to leave one down and put the next one up so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so we've lifted this one, that little sort of float, lifted it back onto the needle, uh, that one we've left, and then this one we've uh, uh, put that onto the second needle along there. So again, just do another row nice and gently. Okay, and it's nicely picked up those little sort of floats hanging down and you can just see that that float on the middle one which we didn't pick up that's the one that's sort of uh, giving you like a little sort of float a diagonal sort of float coming across there okay so you can either um, if you want a nice sort of round hole okay lift up that little float that's hanging down if you if you want a little bit more of a decorative effect and you can uh, change it in several ways so you can have the either the left or the right one so you can have the float going off to the left or the right uh, this one obviously we we picked up the second um, or we put the needle out on the second one and we didn't pick up that float so the on the right hand needle we've got that float but we could have done it on the other side so you get the float on the other side on subsequent um, eyelets as well okay so we've got, you can see here the difference, so we've got the single transfer eyelet here, where my fingernail is here, sticking through there, or we can have slightly larger eyelet, as you can see that's a lot larger eyelet there, okay, and um, we've, we're picking up that float, so we get a nice sort of rounded hole there, okay, so again that can be used in a decorative way, so single um, eyelet transfers or double transfers, one off to the left and one off to the right, um, and lifting up that sort of little uh, uh, float hanging down there, you can get that lovely sort of rounded eyelet hole. And it's more of a hole than a um, than a sort of little sort of dainty um, uh, hole there in the knitting. Okay, so that's a few couple of things to try there. Okay, so there's our uh, small and large eyelets. So now what I want to show you is a ladder. Okay, and also some decorative effects that we can do with a ladder stitch. Okay, so for a ladder, um, it's, it's a, in some ways it's a lot simpler than an eyelet because we only have to sort of transfer needles off to the left or the right. I'm coming off to the left here with this one. Okay, take that needle back that's empty. And maybe we'll do another one here. Okay, and... So we'll do a little sort of set out here. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm leaving six and then moving the seventh. We've just got enough room for a little one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm going to move the seventh over there. Okay, so I've transferred one uh, stitch over to the left. Again, it could be the left or the right, doesn't really matter at this stage. This time I'm coming to have a little tidy up and I'm pushing all of those empty needles back against the needle bed there, so as far as they'll go back, okay, and they remain back and out of the way for the duration of the ladder, okay. So that's all set up, again, might feel a bit notchy for that first row because we're asking the carriage to knit over two stitches instead of one stitch, so it may feel a little bit sort of um, hard, to, a little slightly harder to push across, shouldn't be too harder, much harder, um, but a little bit um, of resistance you may get. Um, if you are having uh, problems where it's not knitting off the stitches, you can um, open up the tension a little bit just for that one row. Um, it probably won't make much difference to your knitting, but if you open it up a little bit, um, it, sometimes it just helps knit off those needles if they haven't knitted off properly. Okay, so I'm just going to knit a few rows. So 
hopefully you can see the ladder forming there with the darker color at the back there you can probably see better if I just leave it at the back so you could just see through that through those eyelets so we've got these ladders here so this is where we've transferred the needle over to the left or the right again doesn't really matter but here we've got this ladder happening here okay so we can just carry on knitting away and we'd end up with vertical ladders in our knitting okay and then just to get you used to using the the um, stitch dial the tension stitch dial I'm coming to the carriage on the machine here and I'm going to take that right up we're already on at about eight and a half here so I'm going to take it up to ten or as far as it will go so we'll go to about ten there so that's going to give us a slightly larger stitch so I'm going to come across for one row on that larger stitch and then immediately when we've done that one row bring it down to the original tension so I was on 8.1 there okay so I've come back down to 8.1 after doing that larger tension size and maybe count one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten, and then go large again on the tension dial just for one row and then again immediately after come back down to the original tension and count again another ten rows one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Okay, back up to the largest tension, just for one row. Okay, and then immediately down to your original tension. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then not sure if that's picking up on the screen there but you can see like a little grid like a little window pane check effect coming um, so a little grid pattern coming okay and that's a way of um, just using um, your machine to make a really sort of simple decorative effect okay just by using ladders and changing your tension dial here okay so I was changing it from 8 to 10 um, if you've got finer yarn so say if you're on say about tension 4 uh, did 10 rows and then take it up to 10 you would get more of a pronounced uh, single row of the larger stitch size in there so that would be more of a pronounced um, uh, design coming through okay but because we're already on eight it's a little bit more subtle but hopefully you can just see the different stitch size happening there okay so that's a couple of ways of um, making some decorative stitches there. You can, um, with the um, eyelets and ladders, you can make little patterns um, and just using your transfer tool, you can design your own little sort of open stitch effects, little laddery sort of lacy stitch effects by not using the mechanical side of the knitting, the, the patterning side of the knitting machine. Okay. So when you're happy with your ladder and you've had enough of your ladders, you can bring all of those needles back in one go if you want to, or you can stagger them for a decorative effect. So I'm going to leave one out, bring that one in, maybe push that one back again, leave that one in, okay, and then maybe push that one back. So I've left one forward and one back, okay. Knit a few rows. and then bring the remaining ones back. Okay, so you can see that you've got a little staggered um, eyelet pattern there. So you can start them staggered as well if you wanted to and then bring them in at different times so you get that staggered effect. So you can make little patterns by bringing eyelets um, or needles in and out of work to give you kind of that decorative effect. Okay. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed that little demo there of the ladders and the eyelets. 
Um, if you like what you see, um, do subscribe to the channel. We're ad adding to um, the techniques all the time. Um, we're starting off with basic techniques to get people going and we're going to get more and more intricate as time goes on. I'm hopefully going to be adding some more videos, uh, hopefully about once a week. So uh, do um, check in um, from time to time and have a look what we're up to. Um, as I say, I'm Claire Newberry and uh, I run Knitting School. Okay, so that's knittingschool.co.uk and you can book a lesson with me. You can have one-to-one uh, -one tuition, private tuition with me. Um, I do Zoom lessons all over the world. Um, so do get in touch if you want to concentrate on a specific part of the knitting machine or you're having trouble with a certain part of the knitting machine. Um, we cover electronics, punch card, you know, the, from really basic machines right up to computer-aided design. So if you're looking at design in it, um, I also teach on design in it as well I write about design in it as well um, so you know do get in in, uh, in contact um, mainly for domestic knitters uh, but knitting machines um, covered are Passap, Brother, Silver Reed, Knitmaster and Dubier for the um, industrial knitting machinery as well okay so I do tutorials um, for students as well, extra tutorials. Um, as I say, I teach at Nottingham Trent University and also at De Montfort University. Um, I, I teach on the knitwear um, design course for uh, uh, Trent University, the world-renowned course for Trent University there. So, um, yeah, very passionate about, about uh, knitting and teaching people to knit. Um, okay, so you know, do get in touch if there's something that you want to concentrate on um, and we can sort out a lesson plan for you. Okay, so I'm Claire Newberry from Knitting School. If you like what you see, do subscribe. Um, and as I say, check in regularly because we're adding more and more um, little tutorials as we go along. Okay, so until next time, take care and see you again soon. Bye.